it is a new day in Dubai and I have been invited down to somewhere, well, so far all I can say is intriguing. I've met the guys from NVM, which are a paint protection film specialist based out in Dubai. Uh, the owner of this place has invited me down to check out what he says, quote, some very special cars inside. He hasn't permitted me to go inside yet because he wants to see the look on my face. He believes the stuff inside is, in his words, next level. So, um, yeah, without further ado, let's, let's get off the street and inside and find out what's going on behind this door. There's a Chiron over there. I'll get to that in a minute. First of all, I'm sure you've watched, well, if you haven't watched my videos or you're not a regular subscriber, I do dabble in quite a lot of paint protection film stuff. This is, <laughs> look at this place. It's, it's like Apple went into PPF. Look at this place. Oh my good Lord. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get to that in a minute. I'm backtracking. I'm getting carried away. I've only stepped 10 feet in the door. Hold on a minute. Right. V8 G-Wagon as we walk in. G63. Some, what of a cult car, this part of the world. Looking very shiny. Not sure if it's had any treatment or PPF yet, but good start nonetheless. 488 Spider. Look at the way the reflections on these lights. Wow. This place is immense. One of the first things that has caught my attention are these massive glass panes on the wall here. I've never seen anything quite like it in a PPF environment before, but I have noticed, if you look here, they have the paint protection film strips already mounted on the glass. Um, I'll have to try and get qualification on as to why that is, but I assume it's the best way of seeing what part of the car has been templated. You lay it out on there, very clean environment. Just peel it straight off and apply it on the car. This 488 Spider's looking. I have honestly never been, even in a showroom that has lighting like this, the ambiance is supreme. Okay, this is interesting. Um, I guess most people might not find this that interesting. I used to keep tropical fish. And, <laughs> yeah, weird, I know. Um, but this here is a reverse osmosis unit. Uh, it basically filters the water to absolute purity. So what I assume they are washing these cars with is triple filtered water. I mean, Dubai does not play around. NVN are fitting right in. I'm, all, I'm 20 feet in the door and I can apply the JWW next level stamp of approval. As you can see, they have some ridiculous cars here. We've even got another Huracan. Check out the interior, because there's some guys in here. How's it going, guys? Yeah. You good? Look at this. Ev evidently, this is a very family-friendly environment. What do you guys think about this car? Dead. E enjoying it? Yeah. Good? Look at this. How cool is that? Look, guys enjoying cars. I'm going to close the door for you so you can drive off later. How nice is that, man? Has he had it? Oh, yeah, look very faintly that's a very good application right on the very edge this is obviously in the satin orange they've maintained that with the satin paint protection film looking phenomenal let's just jump straight to it what on earth are my eyeballs showing me right now now i haven't seen that many chirons if you follow the channel regularly you'll know that i had the honour and privilege of being able to spec a Chiron at the Bugatti Chateau. And even then I didn't see one looking this good. This grey reminds me of Suzuka grey. You know that was uh, made quite famous on the first generation R8? And then it's got this magnificent contrast carbon body. Wow. You know, when you see these things up close, I know we see a lot of Chirons on Instagram and general social media, but 
when you're up close on one, they are just out of this world. And the fact that somebody, and let's face it, if you own a Chiron, you are of a high caliber person. The fact that they brought this here, that must be straight off the production line. You want to see the other things I'm staring at. At the minute, I'm casually ignoring brand new Aventador S 599 GTO FF, which looks like it's had, I don't know if that's a satin paint job or had a satin PPF, but we'll check that out shortly. I'm just going to have a look at this. I'm going to go ahead. The guy who invited me here said everything is filmable and that I can look inside. So I'm going to go ahead and. <gasps> oh, wow. <laughs> iridescent orange contrast interior. Something that I've only just noticed because the interior is so bright. I didn't notice it from outside because look at the tint on the front. It's like almost entirely blacked out. I wish we could do that in the, the UK, but never mind. You could see out perfectly. Look at that, look how black it is. It is actually black. And then in here, no problem at all. Wow, I mean, I have had the honor of being able to have a passenger ride in a Chiron. Um, one day I would love, absolutely love to be able to bring you guys some content from the, the driver's seat of one of these cars, but it is resplendent. It is luxury on a level almost undefined. Look at the strip light through the center of the car. This, this sweeping line here between driver and passenger um, sort of replicates and reinforces the sweeping C on the outside of the car. So if you see that, this sweeping C shape here, see for Chiron, that exact shape is mimicked by this strip light through the center of the car. It's absolutely stunning. I'm 100% not gonna sit in it because that would be entirely disrespectful, but satin carbon on the inside, gloss carbon body, and look at that contrast from this car. I'd love to know the name of this. If you look closely, it is, it is actually a pearlescent gray. Look at the forms. I'm not sure if this is coming through on camera, but the wet, the, the edge of that carbon has been formed to almost razor blade sharpness. The sculpture is outstanding. I can't imagine how difficult it is to apply PPF to this, but wow, what an honor to be able to get up close and personal to something like this. Dad, close the door. It's unbelievable. Oh my God, there's an 812 in there as well. We haven't even had any 812s in England, and these guys are applying PPF to one. So now we're at Aventador S. Just getting prepped. These things look awesome, don't they? Wow. And these guys are going all right. I mean, they've got multiple people working on each car. And look at this. Now, I've been, is this a satin paint job? Or, no, it's PPF. In fact, if we open, can we open the door? Yeah. Yes, look, you can see inner body sill hasn't been applied with the satin PPF, so the contrast between gloss and satin, this pulls off satin magnificently. It looks fantastic. And this blue interior. Oh, guys, look what I'm looking at. And it's huge. The place is massive. I'm, I'm only in half of the building right now. The lighting is amazing. Back to the satin on here. That looks really good. I'm impressed with that work as well. You know, one thing with satin is, unless you tuck the, the edges under, which these guys have done, it stands out a mile. But this is a very good application. Look, you can't see any, any edges at all, so you wouldn't know if it was paint or protection. 918, I just, I just walked past that as if it wasn't there. So here's where I walked in earlier. Just to give you an idea of the size of this place. Chiron, Vector S, 599 GTO, FF. And then I casually walk past this 918, which there is an army of people working on. I bet by the looks of things, the turnaround here is probably, probably quite swift. Magnificent, I'm loving this glass though. Thought I mentioned earlier, look at the guys cleaning up as we go. The reason I'm so excited about all of this is I've never been, and I've seen some PPF applications all around the world. And I get, I'm very fortunate in that when I go to countries on car trips, I get invited out to lots of places. I've never seen anything like this. If I, would, I would go so far as to say that I would actually ship my own car here just for this treatment, just to be here and give you guys an insight into what it's like.
I only just noticed that this 812 is metallic black. Wow. First one I've seen in black with the contrast carbon. Crikey, it looks good in black. What's the interior? I can't, not sure I, I can open this because it's been, been taped up for the application, but we've got a red interior. Red contrast calipers. Oh, you know, I wasn't sure. Now here's something, 812 in black. I wasn't sure it would hide the contours, but when you see it in person, well, I haven't said that, we have these magnificent lights that NVN have here. Looks fantastic. Let me see if I can get around these guys and just have a look. Oh, wow. Look at it. You'll have to excuse the noise. These guys are doing some top, some top paint preparation and restoration work. Look at these little instruments they use to get on these the very thin A pillars. So I could spend a whole day here. The reason we're here is, if you've been following the journey with Emirates, here's our titty titty bang bang Rolls Royce. They just come in to be cleaned up. I'm not sure if the rat's staying or going, uh, but they said you should probably follow this car because it's good coming somewhere, quote, very cool. Uh, biggest un understatement of the year. Let's just go up here, see what's going down. Yes. Some offices, which I've been told is more like a sort of hangout area. I'm still getting over that Chiron. I think we're gonna have to go and have a look at that soon. Ooh, what's this? So I'm just reached the office upstairs. Like you've got this great view down here of cars in the, in the bay. We go in here, ooh, much quieter. Oh, wow. Honestly, when I say it's like, <laughs> it's like McLaren set up a, a PPF gig. Everything is pristine. It's 33 degrees outside and in here it's just nice and cool. Look at all of the gear. So these guys, as with most, you know, if any PPF company in the world worth their salt uses Expel, I can see that these guys use that here. Got the plotting software. Look at, look at this, you can see all of the templates they've got for hoods and things. And of course, obviously, even though there are templates available from Expel, NVM, like most guys, they do bespoke plotting so that they can get everything right. Massive layup table, never seen a laying up table before in a PPF bay. So cool. And then through to the offices. I'm just, I'm kind of uh, taking a bit of a chance here that I'm actually allowed to come and film in here, but uh, offices, social area, wow. Look at this. So when I was growing up and interested in cars, particularly when like Fast and Furious launched, so I was around about 16, 17 then. Um, God, how time flies. Um, God, sorry, I'm distracted. There's more cars. I don't even know where I am now. What is going on? GT3 RS? I forget how good these things look in person. Again, I know we see loads of photos of these things, but this <laughs> looks so good. I think the wing on the RS is potentially too big for a road car. But if there's ever a car and ever a feature that's grown on me, it's the wing on the RS. I think particularly straight on from the rear, that looks rather spectacular, sir. Yeah, anyway, back to my story. When I was learning to drive growing up, particularly around the whole Fast and Furious era, I always sort of dreamt of having this communal like car workshop area. I never really put much effort into thinking about what it actually would be, but where some, well, you know, car enthusiasts and friends could come and hang out and chill. That like coffee area office upstairs is basically it. And then you have, well, let's face it, the best cars in the world downstairs being worked on. I bet the community vibe around here is amazing. I mean, to have a Chiron and an 812 basically back to back, clientele must be off the charts. Ah, right. I'm gonna take this opportunity to sign off. I didn't expect any of this at all. Uh, thanks so much to MVM for inviting me down here. Uh, it's absolutely incredible. Love to be able to spend more time here, but please tune in for the video to follow because I'm going immediately from here, driving to Abu Dhabi for a Porsche exclusive track day on the full GP circuit. God, I'm literally, this last week has been insane. Um, so yeah, tune in for the next video. I've always wanted to drive the Abu Dhabi circuit. I've never even been to it. So it's going to be a bucket list moment yet again. As always, guys, thanks for watching. See you next time. Ciao.